Go back to my knife and fork, but <laughs> so I'm supposed to make a ball, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> this is uh, this is interactive eating. <laughs> Lucky COVID is over, so we and we washed our hands. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we always wash our hands. Okay. So I'm picking it up. Yeah, and the chicken also. Uh, I just want to try the vegetables first. Okay. I'll do the chicken next. Okay. And I eat it all in one or multiple bites? It's one bite or? One. Only one bite? Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot for one bite. Okay, bite it then. Okay. Then, you, of course, you don't like chew. Look for the produce here. Everything is fresh. I'm scared. <laughs> so right now we're, we're getting everything we need to cook. Yeah. I think we have it all. Do we have it all? No. What else do we need? Uh, we beef. got the vegetables. Yeah. Right. Yes. Now it's the beef. Oh, like bananas, right? <laughs> <laughs> From episode you're going to cook. I'm going to cook him. Yes. A traditional African dish which is popular in my tribe. <laughs> this is called traditional vegetables called sageti. Sagete. Yes, sagete okay. in English and saga, cheese saga in my tribe. So we're going to cook this ugali and uh, and uh, chicken stew. Kind of video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's start the video. Can you make me go? I can subscribe. <laughs> Say again. It's one of the bananas, right? <laughs> no. Plantains, right? No. No. Meat flour. What? Wheat. It has wheat. Uh, the clean, the cleaning first, and then. Okay. Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kemto Bear, and today I have a guest with me. Introduce yourself. Hey, if you guys don't know already, this is your guy, Jay Focus, reminding you to stay focused. <laughs> so right now we are in the wonderful city of Nairobi, Kenya, yeah. and I'm here uh, yet again on your program. With Kem Tovea, yeah? And in today's pro episode, we're going to cook. I'm going to cook him. Yes. A traditional African dish, which is popular in my tribe. This is called... Traditional vegetables called sageti. Sageti. Yes, sageti okay. in English and saga, cheese saga in my tribe. So we are going to cook this ugali and uh, and uh, chicken stew. Okay, and this is very traditional for you very guys. Very traditional. This is the traditional I can go. Okay. <laughs> Your mom taught you how to make this? Yes. Okay. And you know mamas be having the recipes, so yeah. I'm sure it's pretty solid. It's a bitter hub, so I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to his reaction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll be coming up here in a minute. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, if you like this kind of videos, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and check J Focus. I'll leave links on the description box and on the screen to make it easy for you guys. So let's start. Exactly. I should teach you how to. You have to help me cook. Okay, yeah, yeah. help me out. Hold on, let me wash my hands real quick. Oh, okay. Just to be double safe. I wash them, they're clean, but I want to be. All the know, vegetables are washed. I want to be 100% sure. Yeah. I got to. 
I gotta take off the jewels, you know what I'm saying? Because I have oh, the jewels on. Me too. I gotta take the jewels off. Oh, let, me, let me get my ring off here. But uh Yeah. And I've already washed the vegetables, <laughs> but you negative nonsense, I know you'll say I didn't wash, so insert the clip when I was washing. <laughs> Together, could you find the any designer for your body? Oh. Ah, for your body. Oh. Mm. oh, my darling, you know, get wala. Any day come and chop my rabbit. See the money. Oh. I get the money. Oh. Mm. Angelina, you owe me for a yeah, yeah. I'll tell you my mind. Oh. Uh. If you leave me, not die. Oh, yo, yo, yo. yo. Angelina, you owe me for a <laughs> we probably don't need that just yet. Yes. So you start by <laughs> we need the stems. Okay, so Yeah. We don't need the roots. Okay, so we so need to you, separate you the like roots this. from the stems. That's what you're saying? Yeah. Split it. Okay. Like that. Split it up. And throw the roots away. Throw the roots away. Like, uh... All right, we're going to toss them in this bag here. Yeah. Okay. All right. So do it. You can take many. There we go. Just like that? Yeah. All right. What comes in your mind when you first saw this? When, when I, I took it from the grocery store? I wasn't sure what to think, you know. Um, I'm just coming along for the ride here. You're the pro. You're an adventurous. Yeah. You know, the wildest thing that I've eaten? Yeah. In all the places I've been to? Yeah. It's probably tarantula. I had tarantula when I was in Cambodia. I had alligator. Or, alligator. yeah, alligator. When I was in in the Amazon, in the in Amazon, Amazon, yeah, in Brazil. Peru, no, in Peru, yeah, right on the border, uh, at the end of Peru, when you're basically touching Brazil. Does it taste like chicken? It tastes or like fish. Seafood? It tastes like yeah, it tastes much more like seafood because it's swimming around in the river. Yeah. So, you know, it's marinating sure every day. It's marinating in that if sauce. Check grass. You know, this is like straight from the farm. Okay. Organic. It's really organic, so you may okay. find grass. Got you. Yeah. Oh, so you, you've been making this since you were young? Yeah. Helping your mom out? Yes. Okay. Oh. I don't think my viewers want to see me cook. Wait, mm, no, like testing uh, African food. Yeah, at the end. I'm going to get that part. I don't think they want to see me like separating this. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be shocked. They, they want to see like the high adrenaline stuff. You know what I'm saying? They want to see me jumping out of airplanes and... Um, I don't know. This is adrenaline, eating something weird. Yeah, I mean, it has to be done, for sure. But, uh, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, we're going to finish this off camera, and then we'll come back. Yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> so we were just talking about the fact that in mm. America, typically uh, Africans don't like to mingle with black americans now it's getting a little bit better i think in the last you could say five years mm -hmm. as you have social media and mm -hmm. people connecting african americans here in africa and mm -hmm. africans in the states mm -hmm. so it's getting a little bit better but um historically <laughs> it's been uh not good as you can imagine and what's the experience like uh, Africans here, like who are not exposed in America? So here, I, I can't speak for you, maybe you can speak for yourself, but <laughs> in general, people in Africa don't know our history, they don't know our story, true. so they're very confused. It's very true. They're very confused, mm -hmm. and I feel like that confusion leads to a lot of misunderstandings. I thought you guys are from there, from, uh, maybe another American, I'm going to sound stupid. 
No, no, go for it, go for it. I thought like uh, black Americans, uh, I see them like us, but I thought like they are from another tribe. Like, let's say for example in Kenya, we have Kikuyu, Sloth. Sure. So I thought, <laughs> yeah, Americans from another tribe. I never thought it was. You thought yeah, we were indigenous. Here. We're indigenous. Yes, yes. Did you think white people were indigenous to Australia as well? I, I you know, funny thing, uh, people don't, when, okay, let me speak for myself. I don't think so much about people. Far away? <laughs> Far away. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> yes. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> when I was a kid, I, something in my head was just kind of like, why are there white people in Australia? When I thought white people came from Europe. Oh. And then, of course, I, I realized that they were immigrants, just like British yeah, people came British. to America. They weren't originally any white people and anywhere it, in America. Is it true, like, the British people came to America, like, you migrated a long time ago, there are criminals? Not all of them, but <laughs> I'd say, like, 50-50. It's like 50-50, I would say. Now, Australia, it was more. I know, you're like, why does it keep going back to Australia? But no, in Australia, it was like 90% were criminals. Oh. That was like, the, the punishment was go to Australia. Now, America, oh. it, was, it wasn't only that. It was also people who just wanted to make money, people who were adventurers. Mm. And there were other uh, economic and financial reasons to go to America. But Australia, it was different. They didn't really have any economic reason to go there. It's far away. There's not a lot of... Um, Opportunities. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of uh, industry or plantations or anything like that. So another thing, uh, like when, like my relatives, like my distant relatives, when they like immigrate to America, like they live like in Texas, they'll come back and tell us like, oh, uh, black people are mean to hmm. them. <laughs> <laughs> they say like the uh, the black people they say like uh we we sold them uh, the reason why they are mean to them is because they <laughs> a long time ago they sold them to <laughs> to the whites to the whites right yes like the black community <laughs> <laughs> so america is such a big country it's very hard to generalize and everyone's experience is going to be different yeah i'll take for example my family yeah we we like everybody. We like everybody. And I mean, as far as like foreigners who come to the States, like if you're a cool person, mm -hmm. you seem like you are productive. It doesn't matter whether you're Mexican. It doesn't matter whether you're African. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter whether you're Chinese or whatever. We're not going to be rude to you. It's, mm -hmm. it's just not part of our culture. And the, the, the part of the States where I, I grew up in, you know, we're going to be uh, pleasant to everyone unless they're going to be um, oh, rude to us. And of course, we're going to throw it back 10 times harder than you throw it at us but in the beginning we're going to give everyone the benefit of the doubt yeah but to me like the first experience i experienced a black american it was a woman okay she was called fatin and she was really good to me okay that's great like all experiences i've had with black americans it's good i think sometimes when, <laughs> when foreigners not just africans but when they say you know <clears throat> black americans are rude or black americans did this or whatever i think the black americans they're dealing with they yeah. would have done that to me too. Yeah. Like yeah, that's, that's just who me, they are. Really it doesn't isn't they're not doing it because you're African, they're not doing it because you're Chinese, they're doing it just because they're assholes, just because they're bullies. Yeah. They're they're gonna be mean to anybody. They'll be mean to their neighbor who has been in America as long as them and is just as black as them. Yeah. So I think it just really depends on the, the crowd that you're running with. Yeah. More than anything. Yeah. Comment down below any experiences you had if you're a black American or if you're African with the vice versa yeah yeah i'm trying to think what experiences i had with africans in the states i personally had very few and i've heard a lot of stories from other people mm. living in other parts of the country where there's tons of africans mm -hmm. and things are not very positive especially in the past from what i heard but personally i i really can't think of any bad experiences i did have a friend uh his name was tony mm -hmm. he was uh he was he was Nigerian, mm -hmm. and he was a real cool guy. We used to go out uh -huh. and uh, hit, hit the bars, hit the clubs together or whatever, and never had any issues with him at all. He actually looked like, people said he looked like me, which is funny. <laughs> uh, imagine me when I didn't have hair, yeah. and that, they said he looked exactly like me. People would be like, are y'all brothers or something like that? So <laughs> I, I don't really see much of a difference, uh, especially with probably West Africans, because a lot of them uh, do resemble 
African Americans for oh. obvious reasons because of the the legacy of of where we came from and and so on and so so forth. So like I said, uh, typically I think it's the energy you put out is the energy you receive. Like this guy, he was very open. He he had, he was born in Nigeria, but he had lived in the states for I think about three years before I had met him. Oh. So I think he went in with an open mind and yeah. kind of already understood us to some degree. So by the time I met him, you know, there was no big explanation that I had to do to him. He already understood the culture and yeah, yeah we, we embraced him off of that. So yeah. So the fact you now I watch Ken Gada podcast a lot and I had like the most bullies, African bullies, they are Nigerians. Really? Yeah, the Nigerians are the ones touching. <laughs> no. The Nigerians are the ones doing the most like wow. <laughs> No. <laughs> uh, so I will say in the States I personally haven't had any bad experiences with any Africans. Uh, actually, I knew some Ethiopians living in California as well who were very open to me. Mm. But it's different in other countries. So not mm. Africa, but for example, when I'm in, let's say I'm in Germany or something, and then I meet an African, then mm. it's a whole different energy, oh. whole different energy. I feel like it's different. It's yeah, kind too. of a me versus you thing, which is really strange because we should have more in common with us being both black peoples in another land that's yeah. not our land. We should be able to bond off that. But I, f I felt like in the past, more often than not, that would be like a reason to put distance between us where they'd be like, oh, you know, I'm insert whatever. I'm Kenyan. I'm Nigerian. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm Ethiopian and you're just a black American or whatever. We're not in America, so I don't really have to deal with you. I, I felt like that kind of an energy and like, Hey, I'm trying to be with the Europeans. I'm trying to act like them. I don't want to, I want them to forget I'm black. So oh. if I'm around you, then they're going to be like, oh, you're black. But oh. if I just hang around the Germans or the French or the Spanish and try to speak with like them, then they're going to accept me. That's what I felt like. So. But uh, the thing is with like, oh, the funny <clears throat> thing, like in Kenya, let me talk about Kenya. Sure. In Kenya, we people, in Kenya, people are not like exposed to abroad or they've never like left the country. Mm -hmm. We are so like we love like America, uh, Black American culture. We like mm -hmm. try to imitate it. Like we feel it's like a celebrity sure. status, and <laughs> like when you you act, you 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 clothe, you try and talk sure. like with the Black American accent. Yeah, we feel like you guys are cool. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I, get, I get that. You guys absorb a lot yeah. from the culture. Yes. Yeah, that, that, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Okay, now let's boil this. So let's do boil it. This. Let's get it. <laughs> All right. I so we're going to use this burner or this burner? Which one? I think this one. The back one. Okay, yeah. so the back one is there. I need water. You put, you, put, you put the water in afterward? Now I want to put now. Okay. I think we are gonna take maybe 30, 30 minutes. I'm gonna add salt. So I'm boiling it fast. Okay. <laughs> then I'm gonna fry it. So how much influence do you <laughs> think that the British still have on Kenya? A lot, still. They're still here. <laughs> there was a British woman in this building I met yeah. earlier They're today. They're still here. They have like investment here. They're still the richest here. So in a way, they still colonize. <laughs> How? Uh, what differences do you see between the British in uh, in Kenya and the Indians in Kenya? Because I know the Indians also have a very long legacy here, right? Yeah. They basically they call themselves Kenyans. Okay. Yeah, they want to be. Okay, let me not just let me not say that. <laughs> and they all speak Swahili. The yes. ones born here. Yes, they speak okay. Swahili, and they claim their their nationality is Kenyan. Do they? So they get they get Kenyan passports. So here, for example, in America, if you were born in America, it doesn't matter where you're from. Yeah. It doesn't matter if your parents were in the country illegally. Yeah. You automatically get citizenship. Is it yeah. the same here? Yes, so you, By, guess, you have like different forms of uh, citizenship, dual ship. But do you have birthright citizenship? Yeah. So if a Chinese guy comes here, 
no. has a baby and leaves his baby as Kenyan for the yes. rest of his life? Yes. It, oh, okay. I didn't if know I'm that. I'm not wrong, but yes. Okay, I'm, I'm going to Google it because I don't know if that's correct. <laughs> yes. I, I don't think so. By birth. I have if, a, one, if one parent is Kenyan. That, that's not what I asked you, though. I said if a Chinese person comes here, they have their baby and leave. That's birthright citizenship. Yeah. So you guys don't have it. I don't think you do have it. I don't know, guys. Comment down below. I'm not good in politics. I've carried this fan all the way. I don't think any African to will make most chapatis, have it. But <laughs> Uh, we are not making chapats, we are making something easy. Okay. Yeah. I'm not good in, in that. I'm good in... Do you wash chicken? Do you wash chicken? Oh, you don't even cook. Do I wash it? Yes. You mean with water? What do you mean? Yeah, with water. Are we supposed to? I don't know. Some people say that you wash it, some people say don't wash it. I'm gonna wash it with lemon. Yeah, so I was correct. Kenya does not have birthright citizenship. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna butcher me in the comment section. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's different. I don't think many countries in Africa do. It's yeah. more of a thing in the... But in America, they're trying to abolish it, right? But it won't happen. You think it won't happen? No, they've been trying to abolish that for like 30 years. It's not going to happen. Because there's too many immigrants who are going to vote against it. Oh. Maybe like 50 years ago they could have passed it, but now they don't have enough votes. Mm -hmm. It'll never pass. And you know the only reason why they have birthright citizenship in the U.S. Mm -hmm. It's because of Voting. Black Americans. Black Americans. Yeah, we had to oh. fight. We had to fight for it. For. So mm. it was originally only supposed to be for us. It wasn't supposed to be for, for anyone everyone. else. Yeah, it wasn't supposed to be for anyone in the world who comes. It was supposed to be for us because when slavery ended, mm -hmm. they were trying to decide like, are we citizens or not? Mm -hmm. And we had to fight so that they would p pass an amendment so that. In the Constitution, what is it? I don't want to mess it up, so I'm not going to say which, <laughs> which amendment it is because I don't want to be wrong. <laughs> but anyway, um, they passed it so that they could never disenfranchise the children of slaves oh. in the future, you know. So once it's in the Constitution, it's forever, almost. Mm -hmm. It's very, very hard to change. Change it, yeah. And so, um, but the, the only thing they messed up with was they didn't specifically say okay, for the children of the slaves or, you know, for the Africans. So because of that, it applies to anyone. Oh, to any even people of color, color like Latin American. Anyone, anyone, anyone. anyone. German, even Russian, Chinese. anyone, Russian. You could be a even Martian. Chinese and anyone, Chinese are not anyone, a Russian. It doesn't matter. As long as you were born in America, mm -hmm. after like the last hundred years, yeah. you are a citizen. Mm -hmm. So, yep, for better or worse, that's how it is. <laughs> yep. Crazy. So what do you think about, since we're cooking, I want to say something about cooking. Mm -hmm. What do you think that American people typically eat? Because okay. it's funny when I'm I go to other eat. countries and I ask people what they think. Because, cause, you know, I'm so like obsessed with American culture. So I watch You have a better food. idea. Okay. Yeah, I watch but what like, do you Tell me, what do you think? There's collard green. <laughs> there's mac and cheese. Okay, there's good. There's chicken. Okay. Then there's cornbread. Okay. Then there's grits. Okay, wow. And okay. then there's something else. I'm impressed. That's, uh, that's, that would all be considered Southern food, pretty much. Southern food. So Southern. it's different, like black Americans who are not from Southern. Okay, what time is it so I know in the... What time is it? What time is it now? It is it's 4. It's four. exactly 4 o'clock. So 4.30. Uh, when 4.30 reaches, tell me. Okay. Yeah. So... All that food is considered southern food. Oh. Maybe mac and cheese is kind of universal, but everything else, like the collard greens and stuff, that's southerner stuff. So what, what do other people eat? Well, when you say other people, I, I'm guessing... How about mean, blacks, blacks who well, are not from south? Well, blacks... <laughs> blacks... Uh, are well, all from south? Blacks will, in, well, 
So our grandparents usually oh. are from the South, like 99% oh. of our grandparents came from the South. So we eat that food, but we still even, we consider it like it's Southern food or like soul food is what we say. But for example, white Americans, mm -hmm. unless they're from the South, they won't eat that stuff. Oh, okay. Now, white Americans, if they're from Alabama, you know, mm -hmm. Georgia, they eat all that stuff too. Yeah. But if you're white and you're from like Michigan or Boston, you're not going to eat that stuff. You're going to eat, they, they have their own type stuff. Like in Boston, they mm -hmm. eat crabs. That's one thing that's very oh, common. Seafood boy. Yeah, because it's on the coast. And yeah. Michigan, what do they eat in Michigan? I forget. <laughs> I forget, but like Chicago, they're known for ribs. They're known for Chicago style deep dish pizza. Which is oh. something that's very uh, regional. Philadelphia is known for the cheesesteaks. Mm -hmm. You ever heard of that? Obviously, New York is known for pizza and everything from all the communities around the world. Mm -hmm. California is known for the Mexican food, of course. Same with Texas. Then you also have a lot of Asian food. Mm -hmm. It's famous in uh, California. Sushi, oh. Japanese stuff, ramen. All that is very typical to that, that region of the country. Mm -hmm. And the Midwest is known for potatoes oh. and a lot of sweet beef. Sweet potatoes. Yeah, farmer type oh, food. What about like sweet candy? Candy yams? Yes. Yeah, that's southern food, you know. Oh. So if you go to any black church in America, it doesn't matter where you are in America, they're going to eat that southern food. Yeah. Because that's, that's what the slaves, you know, grew up on. Mm. And so that tradition got passed down. Have you ever heard of chitlins? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that... If you don't know what chitlins are, that's how I know you're not black American. <laughs> so chitlins, that's some, uh, that's some nasty stuff that they used to feed to the slaves. But the tradition kind of continued. It's dying, it's dying now. So yeah. younger people now don't really mess with it like that. But our parents and grandparents what is it made grew up with. So it's made from pig intestines. Oh, intestines. we eat pig, uh, we eat, but not pig intestines, we eat goat intestines. Okay, so they have to like, clean it, they let it soak yes. for a long time, and then they put you it in the stew. You wash it with vinegar. And stuff, yeah, yeah. I kind of like it, I like, but the goat one, I've never had the pig one. I think one. I only had it maybe twice when I was a kid. It's uh -huh. not something that I, I like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, but I haven't had it in probably 20 years, so I don't, I, you know, I really can't say too much about it. But it's something my grandma would make, you know, the old school black folks grew up on that kind of stuff. Okay. Uh -huh. no. You said cornbread already, right? You know yeah, about cornbread? cornbread? Have you had it? No, I haven't had it. I haven't had grits. I haven't had Oh, wow. Mac you never and had cheese. grits. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> you it's have good. to. So when are you going to come to the States? When Next I year? get an invite because... The American government don't like Africa. <laughs> I have to have like an invite letter. I have to have a certain amount of money Do you in have any cousins? Do you have any cousins or anything living there? Cause they yeah, could probably... but when they go there, they change. Ah, uh, they become Americanized. Yes. They, they turn their back on the roots. Yeah. Oh, that's sad. Like, they won't like... Like, even apart from that, you have, you have to have a lot to go. You have to have... Maybe if you have a visa, uh -huh. that would be easier. Green card. You know, yeah. Marwa made it to the States. How did he do it? He went many times. He's I saw a millionaire. Him. When but you have money in your account. He didn't start off as a millionaire. When you, though. Have, when you have money in your account and then he, has, he had been to Colombia. So if you have a visa. Stamp, it's closer. Yeah. Yes. It's yeah. easier once you're already in that part of the world. Huh? Yes. Okay. Yeah. But you're getting famous. So you can get a, a, yes, a famous so I'm person coming. visa. I'm coming soon. Yeah. <laughs> I think probably next year. Maybe, Amen. <laughs> maybe next November because it's coming up. I can't believe we're almost in November. But yes. in November in America, we have True. Thanksgiving. Yeah. Have you heard of that? November. Yes, I know about Thanksgiving. So, oh, and I know about... That would be the perfect time shopping. to go to oh, try you at, like American food because that's when everyone cooks. Uh, no, but because of Thanksgiving, yeah. I, I know about <laughs> when, because I like shopping online a lot, I know about Black Friday, and yes. I came to know like it doesn't represent something nice. Really? Yeah, people say, <laughs> there's someone who told me, I did a video and then someone commented, it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean something good. Some of those people are crazy though. <laughs> you know, some of the people, they just be saying stuff like, 
That's certain the things. Have you ever heard that, like, if you repeat a lie enough, it becomes the truth? Yeah. Like, sometimes people just repeat stuff enough, and it becomes, it becomes like an urban legend, and people think it's real, and they'll swear by it, mm -hmm. but it's not even true. So, I'm not going to comment on it, because, you, you know, I haven't really like done the research, true. but yeah, I've never really heard about it, so... We'll, um, Comment down below. We'll, leave, we'll leave that to the comment section. Maybe y'all can school me. Maybe I'm completely off base. <laughs> but a lot of times people will repeat stuff that they don't have direct information about. Yeah. And they'll just go off of that. So I'm going to leave it right there. This one is the first one. The that's the one. Story. Yeah, that's for the front and that's for the back. Yeah. This is for the back. No, that's for the front. The one next to it is for the back. You have to push down, though. You know that, right? Yeah, that's how you light it. That's how you set it. Uh -huh. You just turn it on. No, no, it's still on. You're trying okay. to light this one? No, I didn't want oh, this one. Okay. I wanted to lower the heat. Got you. This one is okay. Yeah. I don't like push it on. Got you. Okay. Oh, we can, we can switch yeah. that. So, or, or, we oh, we still talk. Yeah, okay. I mean, we, we might as well. So. You know, I don't talk a lot. I've <laughs> noticed. <laughs> I don't talk. So, like I was saying, Thanksgiving is a very good time to experience all the different foods. You know, everybody's mama made some pies. My mm -hmm. mom should be throwing it down with the, with the, what do you call it? With the cherry cheesecake, with the apple pies. She hooks that up. I got an auntie. She makes everything else amazing. The fried chicken, <laughs> the candy yams, the... Man, everything you can think of. Carrot cake. Uh -huh. Yeah, everything you can think of, she got it ready. I don't know how she has the time, but she hooks it up and everybody everybody gets together. Can you pause this? Yeah, you can. Because I don't yeah. want to stop it. I just want to pause. pause. Which one is pause? Oh, there's but, no pause in So you can't pause it. What? But you can cut it. Cut it. Y'all need a pause button. I'm, I'm it's already on, right? <laughs> Is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, it's been so on the whole time. So I boiled the the saga, the traditional vegetable for that means So now I'm pan frying it with onions and tomatoes. So I'm gonna fry the onions. Get that detail. <laughs> Zooming in. <laughs> this is what happens when you with a professional YouTuber. Okay? <laughs> I'm trying to get on her level. Already She's showing me the tricks of the trade. <laughs> so we got the onions sizzling yeah. right now. Did you throw any pepper and stuff on them or you, you don't? No, this one is for, for the vegetables. So it's only onions okay. and tomatoes. Okay. Tomatoes. They say they talk we like British that. people. <laughs> Can I have some tomatoes and enough. some potatoes? We should do how Americans say things and how okay. Kenyans say things. I have yeah. a screenshot by the way of All right, all right. That. Yeah. How do you guys say, well, you want to do it later? Oh, you can do it now. Okay. How do you guys say this, the one that we drink? Water. Water. <laughs> Water. Water. <laughs> you know how we say it in America? Uh-huh. Water. Well, <laughs> right? <laughs> Not exactly. So it depends what part of the country you're in. Yeah. So some people, they say, I think the standard way you say it is water. That's uh -huh. like the standard white man, water. Wow. Can, yeah, can I have some water? Yeah. But then you've also got like, if you come from like New Jersey, Philadelphia, New York, you might be like, hey, can Where I have some from? water? Uh -huh. Give me some water. Uh -huh. um, if you come from the south, like maybe Texas, Midwest, you might be like, can I have some water? Oh, <laughs> yeah, so it, I like the it, it cowboy really accent. Yeah, you have the cowboy one. Where are you from? From? I'm from everywhere, you know. I'm, I'm from the future. That's what I like to tell people. Where are you, where, where are you raised? <laughs> I was raised in the future. I, I, I came down on a, an alien spacecraft and I was already complete. I was already like this. <laughs> Y'all believe me, right? <laughs> you think it's Cap? I don't have a hat on. You think it's Cap right now? <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> he doesn't think I know lots of slang, <laughs> lots yeah. of American slang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I lived a lot of different places. So also, you are telling me like I have he, many different influences. Yeah, he was telling me like he wants to 
Tell them. Colombia. Yeah, so uh, I'm right here. If you guys don't know, I don't know when she's going to post this, but at the moment, <laughs> I'm in Nairobi. She might post this in a year. She says she has a big backlog of videos. No, not backlog. So you know how you know how these Hollywood YouTubers are. They got a, a thousand videos in the in the archives that they could post in an instant. But if she posts this expeditiously, that's a big word. That means quickly. Anytime <laughs> this month, I'm going to be here in Nairobi, Kenya. This month, so September. This is we're in October, October now. October. We're in October. Well, anyway, <laughs> anyway, I'm here now. Whenever she posts this, I'm here. So if you're trying to collaborate. You know what to do. You can hit me on Instagram, jfocused1. You can uh, hit me anywhere else, TikTok. I, I'm not on there as much, but you can, you can look me up there. You can look me up on my channel, jfocused, on YouTube, and we can put something together. I definitely want to collaborate with some more Kenyans while I'm here because I want to get the truth. Uh, the last time I was here, a lot of people said, you, you weren't fair to Kenya. How long were you even in the country? So this time I'm making sure I'm here for a while. And everything I say is going to be valid. And if you guys want to change my mind on something, I'm open to it. Yes, guys. Mm -hmm. All right, the tomatoes. The tomatoes are sizzling right now. Let me open this window a little more so we get some of this, this air out. Guys, I've burnt the onions. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. What? You say it, when you eat this, I don't put it on. You pause it, right? Yeah. Okay. What? No, I'm I've put it on right now. It's on. It's oh it's now. recording. Yeah. Oh I thought you just paused it. It's not nice. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> What was, what was I saying? I don't you say that it's smelling. I told no, you. No, I said it smells good. I said right now it's, it's starting to smell good. It's starting to smell like something. I think my laundry stopped. Okay. Nah, it's still messing up. It's still flashing. So now I'm... Well... So I'm going to cut it into small bits. You guys should see Jay's, uh, oh, he's wearing his sunglasses. He's terrified. Of what? <laughs> terrified. Of what? Of this food. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. <laughs> this it is looks, medicine. It looks like spinach, but it's not spinach. This is medicine. Yeah? Yeah. It comes from the... It's healing. From the ancestors, huh? Yes, this is from our ancestors. Excellent. It come from the soil. You know I'm part Kenyan, right? Yes. I told you? Yes, you said it. Yeah, you small like part. Five percent. Four. Four. <laughs> Close enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to show them. <laughs> Can you hold it for me? Yeah. The food part. Okay. So now I'm going to put the... The vegetables. Yeah. And fry for like three minutes. It's done already. Okay. Yeah. Let me know when you want me to pause it. Pause it. Which which button? The play? This one. Oh. Okay. 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 Let's pause. Yeah. I was going to, I just, this just came to me. Yeah. I was thinking that if, you know Mark Meets Africa, right? Yeah. You said you heard of him. I know him, yeah. Yeah, yeah he's going to come here, I think. Me and him were talking yesterday, and he was asking me about, um, he's like, how's Kenya? And I was telling him everything. You have and you he been was, to Kenya? No. Uh -huh. And he was, like, so hyped up about it. He was like, wow, that place sounds amazing. And so I think he's going to come, maybe this week. Uh huh. And I think you guys would be a really good team. Yes. Yeah, because yeah, he. Yeah, because I want to collaborate with. Yeah, because you know you like to laugh a lot. He likes to laugh a lot. I mean, I do too. Huh? No. I said you like to laugh a lot. You like to laugh a lot. You understand no? me or no? No, I don't understand you. I said you uh. like to laugh. Laugh. 
laugh. Ah, and then I've, try, I've tried to minimize my laughing. No, no, it's good. But I'm just saying, I think you guys will have a good uh, dynamic. Yeah. Oh, we laughing. I mean, me and him have a good dynamic. I haven't posted it, but me and him... Oh, you met in he, Uganda? Yeah, I met him twice. So mm -hmm. he posted a video we did together, but I haven't posted the one I did with him. And you're telling me, like, I am the one who have content for... <laughs> I don't know when I'll post my content. <laughs> but I learned from you. <laughs> How come? You learn fast. I learn from the best. You la and you learn fast. Yeah, exactly. So this is how it looks. This is very helpful too. It shows you what people were watching who also watch you. So oh, yeah. a lot of people watch Austin. Austin who watch my stuff. Yeah. Even though I don't think our stuff is <laughs> that similar. <laughs> but I don't care. You know, <laughs> you know if you are doing Austin but I, tell you, I told you I met him, right? Yeah. No, yeah. you didn't tell me. I met him uh, like a week ago. Oh, where? Random, in the club. Randomly, in the club? Yeah, yeah. Did you say hi to him? Yeah, we talked. He gave me his number, but I think he's too big to hang out with me, so... Don't say that! No, I'm joking. Don't no, say I'm just that saying he's busy. He's very busy. Yes. But um, he gave me his number, and he, but he was drinking, you know what I mean? Yeah. And he gave I it to me... I think on at the club. Yeah. No, I mean, I oh. wasn't trying to work oh. then, but I, I was just like, you know, hey, you know, we can hang out. And he, he was like, yeah, he said, don't write me on Instagram, because he said, I'll never check it. He said, it's too many people. And you he see? said, he said here's my that. WhatsApp. So I gave it to him. That means he will meet you. And then I wrote him, and then he didn't write me back. So I'll he, try him like one more time. Did he blue tick you? What's that? Blue tick, like read it and didn't reply. Uh, if you have an iPhone, it doesn't show the blue tick though, right? Mine shows. It does. Yeah. Because oh, maybe he, he if, maybe put he, it off. Yeah, yeah. Maybe he turned it off. Try. Oh, don't try it again. Just do it once. Yeah. I don't think he's that busy. <laughs> Yeah, but anyway, I mean, it's it's not a big deal. Um, so now we are making chicken. There are so many. Interesting. Yeah. Somebody found my channel from something about Colombia. I'm like, what does that have to do with me? But whatever. You should do. Go back to Africa. O'Shea, okay, O'Shea, I get. Go back to? You know, go black to Africa, you know that guy? Go black to Africa, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know yeah. him, right? Yeah, the guy same. with the beard, older yeah, guy? Yeah, I see, like, I don't know him, but I see He's videos. one of my favorite YouTubers. Mm. Yeah. He goes everywhere. He's been, I think, at 35 countries already in Africa. Yeah. He said he's going to hit them all. It's been how many? It's going to be hard, though, once you get to, like, the last four or something. Why? Because some... Like they're they're hard to get into. Somalia, like Sudan, and Eritrea too. Sudan and you can get into. It's not hard to get into Sudan. Somalia, yes, is hard. Eritrea is hard. I think maybe to get Somalia. Into Somalia is hard because he has American passport. I think will for most not, people. Will they not like question him? Why he's there? I mean, he's a YouTuber. That's the only. It's clear. It's you not know, like he's a when I'm in the border, I don't say I'm a YouTuber because I don't want trouble because they'll think you're coming to record things. Yeah, I don't. I never say that anyway because they're gonna ask you more questions. I mean, more I'm not even a YouTuber yet, money. like you. But more money. Yeah. You keep on saying like I'm a famous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like For here, you're famous. I will. God. I, I don't think I had anybody recognize me in the street yet. That's when you feel you're famous. I had people recognize me on other places. So like I'll post not on YouTube, but like on Facebook, not under my real name, and people will be like, "Oh, <laughs> not everybody, but what's like your I, name? I mean one or two people, like have what's recognized me like that." And I was like, and they're like, and so like I would get their WhatsApp and we would talk, and mm -hmm. they would hear my voice and they'd be like, "Your voice sounds so familiar," mm -hmm. and I'd be like, "How?" And they were like, "Yeah, I think I know you," and I'm like, <laughs> "Who do you think I am?" <laughs> <laughs> I found like a super fan. Yeah, the like one who's famous because yeah. you're, you're lucky. I don't even know your name. Jay. Jay is your real name. Jay Focus, yeah. Focus is not your real name. <laughs> Jay is a short name. It can be a real name too, though. <laughs> I think you're the famous one. Because. Okay. 
think next time when I come back to Kenya, then I'll be the famous one. When I come back next, next uh, September. Next September. Yeah, then I'll be the famous one. Why do you like Kenya so much? Who said I liked it that much? <laughs> Why are you always... <laughs> I've only been here twice. <laughs> you can't be like, how can I say? You can't, like, the flight ticket is expensive, so basically it's business. Expe it depends it. where you're flying from, though. You're flying from, you fly, flew from Argentina, right? Not to come here. Okay. I came from Argentina to go to Barcelona, okay. and then Barcelona to Rwanda. So you don't like Kenya? <laughs> <laughs> so you don't like Kenya? I think you guys don't like me. I think that's what it is. You're lying. You guys don't like me. You're lying. No, seriously. You're lying. Why? My people will like you. Yo. Um, not that, you Don't know. Don't have maybe. <laughs> you go viral. Okay, sure. Sure. So. I was like you when I started YouTube. <laughs> oh, I don't want me to know that I'm using that. <laughs> Okay. You gotta the food is ready. <laughs> so I should put small, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are so scared. <laughs> I think Jay Focus is out <laughs> of time because the phone is already here <laughs> it's on, on the phone. <laughs> it's funny because I do these collabos with people mm -hmm. and they post the stuff like the next day. <laughs> and I'll be posting their stuff like in five months probably. Five months? <laughs> no, I'm exaggerating. So you're I'm gonna exaggerating. post mine late. <laughs> I'm exaggerating, but like I end up posting like You need to post my stuff like We need to weird. post the same time so okay. when people you can watch the other one. Yeah, okay. they can go like okay. the other one. Or oh, I, I put on your chicken because I don't know if you like my Yeah, one is, one is cool to start. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we can watch this after. This is uh, Hollywood time. We we live now. We yeah, on camera. Let's, let's get it. A celebrity has cooked. Oh, it's not me who washed this knife, so... It's not me. Mm, yeah, she, she's not good. It's the, not uh, me. The maid, she's trash, pretty much. Uh, and I don't usually say that about maids, but I'm she... I'm sorry. I, it's not me. She doesn't do a great job. There should be another one. There should be another knife in here, I think. Is there another one? Yeah, there's more. There's more. No, I should wash it because... Is that one the same? Uh, yeah. Attention to detail. Some people, they just don't have it. Taste the food, African food. This yeah. is the first time testing African food. Huh? <laughs> I got a co comment, corny. That's corny. What does that mean? You don't know what corny means? Like I know corny. Like uh, why is he saying you're corny? Because nah, it's just just his opinion. That's funny. So yeah, this is opinion. But hey, it's it's uh, what's the word? Oh, it's oh, it's yeah. interaction. As long as I get a uh, the mic, get the mic. What do you is, mean? It, is it okay? What? Is it functioning? What do they call it? Engagement. As long as it's engagement, it's good. Yeah. Yeah. You should always provoke people to talk. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Do controversial. Yeah. yeah. You know, for me, like, even if I try to be controversial, people don't take it seriously. <laughs> I think I'm so... Yeah. I, I just want to leave a comment here and then I'll, I'll come right back. So, let's put this one to save later. Watch later. Looks so professional. So, guys, this is... Uh, this is. Do you see those people who do mukbang? Like they eat on camera. <laughs> do you eat on camera? I don't. I don't like to watch other people eat on camera. Like I, I get hungry. Like two seconds. 
Like, I, so I'll, I'll watch someone take, like, one fork, but I don't want to watch them eat, like, for I real, don't, for real. I watch, like, you watch even, people eat? Yes, I, I feel like, do it. I, and then I get, like... I don't even like to watch people eat when we're just family, like, sitting around. Like, I can't, I can't really do it. I mean, because it gets in the way, you know, if you're trying to talk, and who wants to talk with, like, their mouth full, and you don't want to see them chewing and stuff, like, it's... But today you're gonna, like, taste on camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. I just want to do one thing real quick. Uh, just try to get my... Uh, my short a little bit more engagement, so after that I'm ready. You see, the quality the quality of the camera is so nice. This one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure when I watch it, I'll be impressed when we watch it back. Oh, I feel I didn't do my best today. Yeah. I think it's funny too that like mm -hmm. <laughs> that like this guy is, says it's corny but he's commenting you know I'd rather someone say it's corny than say nothing yeah true because it helps all right let's do it <coughs> yeah okay so <laughs> drum roll I should be filming this too hold on yes but how am I gonna get the, the angle right Okay, there we go. Your that wasn't phone that hard. It's really good quality. <laughs> that wasn't that hard. All right, and it's focused. It's focused like me. Yeah. Jay focused. All Remove right. Remove your shades. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah, see, you know what you're doing. You've been at this for a minute. All right. Okay, without further ado, the moment we've been waiting for. So the food is ready to go. Tell me what we have on the plate here. So, yeah, so for the people who don't know. Okay. okay. So here we have chicken. This is chicken and she, did you fry this or did you? Yeah, I pan fried it and then. Pan fried? Yeah. Okay. And then this one is ugali. Ugali? This is the ugali. This is the white thing? Right maize here. flour, yeah, made with maize flour. Uh -huh. And then this is traditional vegetable called sageti. Sageti, yeah. okay. Chinsawa. So we got everything here and it's very fresh. It's smelling lovely. So we're going to try it on camera. Black American try trying. It. You knew that the title. <laughs> Kenyan food for the first time. Yes. No filter. Okay. But it's trying it Let me get some water just, just to be ready, just in case I. Uh, There's nothing hot. I need to. Uh, There's you know, nothing spicy. Quench my thirst. <laughs> so we'll get the water here. Okay, do I need any tips on how to eat this? He's is there eating a certain, it with a knife and fork. Is there a certain way I'm supposed to eat this? Yes, like this. With your fingers? <laughs> you need your fingers. <laughs> you roll it like a ball. Serious? You gotta... I'm not joking. Yeah. Yes, roll it like a ball and then... <laughs> I feel like I'm in kindergarten. <laughs> you wear it like this. Yeah? So then you scoop the... <laughs> <laughs> Scoop the vegetables okay. and then you bite the chicken. Okay. Usually we'll have bite-sized chicken. Yeah. And then you sw you you bite. Okay. All right. So <laughs> I'm gonna try it like her, <laughs> just for the camera. And after that, I'm going back to my knife and fork. But <laughs> so I'm supposed to make a ball, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> this is uh. This is interactive eating. <laughs> yeah. Lucky COVID is over, so we don't and have to worry. And we washed our hands. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we always wash our hands. Okay. So I'm picking it up. Yeah, and the chicken also. Uh, I just want to try the vegetables first. Okay. I'll do the chicken next. Okay. And I eat it all in one or multiple bites? It's one bite or one. Only one bite? Yeah. It's a lot for one bite. Okay, bite it then. Okay. Then you, of course, you don't like chew. You said don't chew? Chew, chew. 
Okay. <laughs> it tastes healthy. It tastes very healthy. Is it tasty? Yeah. I wanted it. In the Will oven. you eat it again? Let me go back. Will you eat it again? Would I eat it again? Yeah. Yeah, I'm about to. I'm about to eat it again. Watch, watch, watch. About to make my little ball. <laughs> to make my little ball here. We cooked it from scratch, guys. So go and check out my channel. Yeah, yeah. If you if you ever post this, because it says. <laughs> I'm gonna try the chicken now, cause I didn't try the chicken before. <laughs> Sorry, I put a little bit too much oil. Okay. I normally you said if I ever post this, I will post this. If you ever post 2025, this, 2025, you're gonna see this video. Yeah. When when, uh, when you're gonna watch it, you'll get nostalgic. You'll be like, oh, I remember back in those days, you know, mm. back before the aliens invaded and stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. Into space shit. It's different. <laughs> it's good. It's definitely different. Really? It's like the first time that I had Ethiopian food. Have you had Ethiopian food? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was just like very different the first time. You have to pick up the thing and roll it up and everything. It's not bad though. Let me grab a napkin. Okay, guys. I think that's all. Subscribe to Jay's channel. Yep. Gonna end the video. Will you eat this again? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. You gotta try it. You gotta try it if you come out this way. Okay, guys. Bye. I'm tired. Yeah, it's been a long day.